hi everyone uh, welcome to my youtube channel in today video we are going to discuss how to implement cisco asa firewall in evng so you have to before proceeding to the installation step uh, download the cisco asa kcow image from the official website uh, once it is downloaded then you have to upload this uh, image to your evng uh, server running on your laptop then you can use an FTP or you can use an FileZilla or SCP which has that FTP, SCP and SFTP capability which can use to upload to your EVNG. Once it is uploaded, then we will move the image to the QMU file in the EU. So that is very simple. But after that, we have to enable the telnet instead of VNC. By default, it comes with the VNC as a login, but we can change it to the telnet. Uh, before uh, you know explaining this uh, let me tell you uh, what are the methods that in Linux that it can have you can do VNC you can do SSH you can do telnet there are five methods that you will be able to log in so it's a VNC it's like always uh, little not that much comfortable level so we use the telnet to log into the ACA box let's quickly do the practical so here you can see I already uploaded the ASA image here to my Eve. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log in to the Eve. Okay, party. Let me open the party. So 192.168.161.128. Root is the username and Eve is the password. So that's a default one I'm using. You guys can see this. Yes. Let me show the file. I upload the temp file. Okay. You can see the file is already present here. CD space AC. Here you can see the AC is here. So, what we are going to do, we are going to create a file and then we move this file to that kimu folder for asa and we change the naming convention as per the evng eve as the default standard for all the types of images for outer firewall servers such as so we use what is the naming convention for this firewall so let's quickly do it so i'm gonna copy so you can see so 961 i find this is my image version so I use the same name here then after that I'm going to move this file so you can say VIRTIOA so it's virtual.qco2 so this is the name in conversion that used for the firewall so once we are done we are good let me verify it so you can say the image is already present now the next step is we have to enable telnet instead of default vnc login for that these are the commands so here you can see uh, here you can see i have the internet connectivity to my evn eve uh, so in case if you want to check how to install uh, or the give internet connectivity to the evng or any software so you can check my previous video where I have explained already how to give internet connection to us EVNG as well as to the software or the, the VM lab nodes running on your EVNG lab. So both are possible. So it's installing here yeah, the installation is done now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log into the Kimu image, Kiko image under the Kimu folder. So the command to log in is guest to fish. Hyphen A, then we do a login. Yes, then run. So you have to wait till the hundred percent is complete. It will show you the percentage, hundred percentage. So wait till that. Maybe it take like few seconds, maybe 40, 50 seconds. It may take. S25 is done. So we have to wait till 
100 don't quit before that or don't press any button yeah we are done then what we are going to do we are going to mount disk hard disk we are going to mount we did that the next command is so we are creating this touch means we are creating a file we are saying use tty dot yes it is done what I'm going to do I'm going to do this slash yeah, it's done then I'm exiting then what I'm going to do I'm going to fix a permission for the newly added image so any whatever the image that you are adding to your you note then what you have to do you have to fix the permission it's fixed permissions okay so that's all guys we have done all the steps let me quickly open the lab so that we can add the srx image and we can do the verification sorry we can add the cisco ac and do the verification type cisco here you can see so far in our demonstration we have done cisco ios cisco nexus switch cisco ioxr and cisco ac virtual you can see there are two cisco ac and cisco ac virtual what we have added is cisco ac it's a virtual so i have added in case if you have like different images you can add in the same steps then you will be able to see that different image versions here you can drag and drop and select it so what i'm going to do i'm going to do a so you can see it's it get 2 gb of ram and one cpu only it needs so save it then right click start then click here so that it will open the console session so you have to wait for a few minutes depends on the i know the load of the machine it will like take like two three five minutes so you have to wait till it get finished in case of the higher end device so you have to wait for at least like five ten minutes but as it is not a heavy too much heavy weight so you can wait for like few minutes so that it will put up it's already in the process of booting up All right, it's almost done is doing the rebooting here you can see the status all status actually so let's wait for it to boot up few i think in few minutes it will boot up then we can log in and then we can verify the status that's all guys the now we have the cisco asa up So you can verify you can check the different commands and you can start doing your own lab so you can see the versions and the other details so i hope uh, you guys enjoy watching this video and please subscribe and comment and do like and share it with your friends and thank you very much for watching again